Hello, Humberto. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Really, this day is spectacular. Really, that's good. I'm happy. Okay, we're gonna wait just a few minutes to see if uh, the other people come into the class. Okay, teacher. Number five, five, five. Hello, everybody. How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? <laughs> I'm fine. And you? Very well. Ready for the last class of this module. Okay, compañeros, esta es la última clase de este módulo. La pregunta de rigor es, hoy sí ya terminamos todo, la, la, la plataforma. Yes. Sí. Ok, very good. Entonces ya todos tienen su diploma y todo bien. Eh, igual vamos a preguntar al final de la clase por si habrá alguno de los compañeros que no han ingresado, que aún no haya terminado, pero pues yo esperaría que sí todo, ¿verdad? Porque ya ahora a las 12 de la noche ya se acabó la oferta. So, uh, we're going to start yesterday. We were checking about um, present continuous, right? And we were talking about the usage, the grammar, uh, rules, spelling, lots of things. And today we are going to practice. That's the very first thing that we are going to do. Okay, so let me do this a little bit bigger. Okay, that's it. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to match, okay? So I, I, 
I am eating. That is it. And you? You are eating. That is it. He. Are eating. He is eating. He is eating. He is eating. He is eating. Good. Uh, she. Is eating. She is eating. Eat. It. It is. It is with eating. Eating. We. Are. We are eating. Good. You. Are eating. Nice. And they. Are. They are, are eating. eating. Very good. Kind of easy that part. So let's check the other ones that we have here. So um, what is going to be for this one? I am playing football. Good. And tennis? You are playing tennis. tennis. You are playing tennis. And uh, the next one? He is playing, he is playing video game. Playing. Okay. The next one, rugby? She is, playing. She is, is playing rugby. Playing. Okay, rugby and golf. It is, it playing. is playing. playing. Okay, it is playing golf and uh, good. We are we are playing, playing. The, the guitar, right? Okay, and uh, piano. We are playing the piano. And the last one. They are, they, are they are playing basketball. Very good. So I guess this is kind of easy. Just remember oh, that yeah. the verb to be has to match with uh, the um, subject. So that is very important. Uh, and then the verb is going to be in ing. Let's check other exercise here. Okay, for this one, um, with the check, with the green check is going to be affirmative. With the cross, the red cross is going to be negative, the X. And the question mark is of course going to be question. So uh, the verb is have I for the uh, first one and the uh, subject is I. So who is going to be the affirmative? I have, I have in breakfast. I'm having breakfast. Remember, the verb to be is very important. If you don't say the verb to be, it's not correct. So the negative, how is going to be the negative? I haven't milk. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. have, I don't. Having. Interesting, interesting. Don't have it. What do you think? Don't worry. That's why we practice. I mean, we are here to practice. He said, drinking milk. That is it. He isn't drinking milk. But the verb is have. Ah, okay. So, he, he haven't drank. No. I'm not. I'm not have a, a drink milk. Very good. I am not having milk because the subject is I. So the first one is I am having breakfast, and the second one is I am not having milk. Good. Okay. So do you, th do you see that sometimes um, it gets complicated, right? When we need to analyze and things like that. Question, how is going to be the question? Do you have cake? Do you? What do you think? Does I have cakes? Does I have? Quien da más? Is she have cakes? Ya va llegando. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else's? Is he has a case? Oh, 
Oi, chai. More or less. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, it's kind of easy. Just remember first the subject. The subject is I. So, for I, what is the verb to be? Um. I'm sorry? Um. Um. And the verb, the main verb, the principal verb is have. So that is having. But in questions, in questions, we use first the verb to be. So it's going to be am I having cakes? Mm. Okay, so what you need to, to remember is who is the subject? I, you, he, she, it. And then the verb to be is going to be is, am, um, or are. Never. In this tense, never use do or does as an auxiliary. That doesn't exist. Okay? If you say do or does, that is the simple present tense. She works. Does she work? But here, we forget about that one. This is the verb to be and the verb, the main, the principal verb in ing. So what the only thing that we need to remember is, or to check, is what is the verb to be for the subject? So this one is I, I am, so we know that. And the verb have is going to be having. So the order in the affirmative, I am having break. That is kind of easy. For the negative, the verb to be is going to be the negative. I am not having breakfast. And for the question, the verb to be goes before the subject. Am I having cakes? That is it. Do you have any question before we continue? Okay, let's do the next one. So, run. You are running a lot. You are running a lot. That is it. You are running a lot. What about the negative? You aren't running along. You aren't running fast. Good. I'm fast. So that is going to be a negative with the verb to be. You aren't running fast. What about the question? Are you running in the Are park? Are you running in the park? Are you running in the park? Are you running in the park? That is it. Sorry. Are you running in the park? That is it. Okay, good. So you see that when you identify what is the subject, that is it. And the order. This is a question. How is going to be the order? Fly and butterfly. So affirmative. How is it going to be? The butterfly flying. Fly. Flying. It's flying. The butterfly flies. Flying. It's flying. Are flying. Are flying. Are flying. It's plural. Yeah. yeah. So the butterflies are flying. That is it. Good. Negative, how is it going to be? The poor of aren't, aren't flying, flying high. Flying high. Good. The butterflies aren't flying high. Perfect. What about the question? Are the, are the butterflies, are the butterflies flying, flying, low? flying low? Good. Are the butterflies flying low? Do you know what is low? Bajo. Good. Lento. So low mm -hmm. is the opposite of high. Oh. Good. So what about the next one? Look. Uh -huh. We are looking for a shirt. We are looking for, we are a, shirt. Looking for a shirt. Good. What about the negative? We are we not are looking in. for a shirt. Okay. Okay, we aren't looking for a hut. Good. What about the question? 
are we looking for a tea? Are we looking tie. for a good tie. tie? Nice. Are we looking for a tie? Do you remember what a tie is? For bata. Good. For bata. When you go to the job interviews, right? Or the charge or something like that. Okay. Uh, it rained. That is it. So it's how it's going to be the affirmative. It is raining in London. It, it is raining in London. Perfect. That is it. It is raining in London. What about the negative? It isn't raining it isn't. in Madrid. It isn't raining in Madrid. It, Good. it isn't raining in Madrid. What about the question? It is raining in Paris. It is. It is. It is. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it raining in Paris? The order, the order of the words are important. Is it raining in Paris? Good, good. We're getting there. So now let's check the other part. Um, it's the same. Don't worry. So make and the cooker. How is gonna be? The cooker is making a milk. The cooker is. Making a, a meal. Do you know what is the cooker? That is it. The cooker is the, the people or the person who cooks whatever it takes. Uh, what about the negative, my friends? The, the cooker, cooker is, uh, is making, lunch. Making, a, making lunch. Very good. The cooker isn't making lunch. Remember that making, we're going to remove the E and add ING, right? That is important. What about help I? I am helping my brother. Good. I am helping my brother. Perfect. What about the negative? I am not helping my sister. Good. Um, I am not helping my sister. What about the question? Am I help you? Um, am I? Um, am I? Help? Am I? Am I? Help? I'm sorry. Helping. 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 That is it. Am I helping you? Helping. Good. What about the next one? Swim and day. Firm. They are swimming, swimming in the river. They are swimming in the river. Good. They are swimming in the river. Remember the prepositions are important. Every time that you see a preposition, remember the usage, okay? They are swimming in the river, inside, of course. What about the negative? They are they in swimming in the sea. They are swimming in the sea. They are in swimming in the sea. Very good. What about the questions? Are they swimming in the lake? lake? Are they swimming in the lake? Very good. Now you are very nice. Let's do the other one. Do we? We are doing the laundry. Good. We are doing the laundry. What about the negative? We are doing the dishes. We aren't. we aren't doing the dishes. Very good. And the question? Are we doing are we the dishes? washing up? Are we doing the washing up? Okay, very good. Nice. That is good. Let's do the last one in this side. Uh, study and she. How is going to be the affirmative? She is study, study studying chemistry. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, that is correct. She is studying chemistry. Do you know what is chemistry? Chemistry. Very good. Very nice. What about the negative? She is studying studying music. music. Good. She isn't studying music. Very good. And what about the question? Is she... She is, she is studying she biology. biology. Yeah. Is she studying biology? biology? Very good, very good. Now, let's move on to 
Another topic, I guess this is the last one that we're going to check and then we're going to continue with the practicing. So this is going to be um, any no known as a quantifier, okay? So any, when are we going to use any for negatives and questions? And we can use any with a noun, any chair, any music, any um, table. For example, I don't have any friends. Well, that's pretty sad. The other one it says, is there any milk? Bless you. Thank you. No, there isn't any. So on the first one uh, is like a negative, right? I don't have any friends. So any is going to be for questions in uh, negatives, I'm sorry. And then also with questions, is there, is there any milk? No, there isn't any. If it's affirmative, yes, there is some milk on the fridge, for example. Okay. Any questions about this? No. Okay, there is another one that is anything, anybody, anywhere so that is also the same negative and questions do you know what is anything cualquier cosa cualquier cosa or ninguna cosa something like that anybody alguien the opposite actually cualquiera cualquiera puede ser cualquiera o nadie mm. Um, aunque cualquiera le pega un poco más. Anywhere. Donde sea. En cualquier lugar. Donde sea. En cualquier parte. Good. Mm -hmm. So these are in the same rule. So these are going to be in negative some questions. So I don't have anybody to ask for help. So anybody is going to be for people. Right? Anything for things and anywhere for places. So the other one says we didn't go anywhere. Negative. So we're going to use um, any word for the question and the negative. Well, any of this. And this is a, a little different in positive sense, not important which. So for example, you can come any weekend. So this is a positive, an affirmative sentence. But the meaning here is it doesn't matter, any weekend, this weekend, the other weekend, any weekend, okay? So you can use that in affirmative in this kind of situations. You can come any weekend, any day, at any time. The other one says any idiot will know how to use this phone. Okay, up to this idiot. So any, any for a positive or when in affirmative sentences like it doesn't matter it's not important when where what whatever any questions about this okay no we're going to use this with some positive verbs so for example not with a noun I have no friends. So can you see, I have no friends is similar to, I don't have any friends. Difference here is that I don't is negative. I don't have any, then we're going to use any. But if I want to use that in affirmative, we say, I have no friends. That the sentence is affirmative, but the meaning is negative. Do you understand that? En español, si yo quisiera traducirlo, la primera dice, well, I don't have any friends, yo no tengo amigos. Y la segunda, I have no friends, quiere decir, no tengo amigos. It's the same. Okay? The difference is the way that you express yourself. Just remember that no is with affirmative sentence, but the meaning is negative. The other one says we use no fertilizer. 
So no fertilizer at all. Okay. Do you have any questions about no? No. No questions with no good. And the other one says, well, we can use also nothing, nobody, nowhere. Also in affirmative sentences with negative meanings. For example, I have nobody to help me. Affirmative sentence, negative meaning. Okay, we went nowhere. So this is interesting, it's the same here. We didn't go anywhere. So if we use this in negative, we didn't. So the word that we're going to use is anywhere. But if we want to use that in affirmative is we went nowhere. So the sentence is affirmative, but the meaning is negative. Nothing, what is nothing, do you know? Nada. Nada. So for example, we can say, I, ha I have nothing to do. Okay. What is nobody? Ninguno. Ninguno, nadie. En nowhere. Ningún lugar. Ningún lugar, ninguna parte. Very good. Do you have any question uh, with this little grammar? No questions. Okay. We have more. Known. Okay. Known, uh, we're going to use that with positive verbs. Well, the yellow is kind of strange. Okay. Um, so, we're going to use known when it's not followed by a noun. Okay. So, for example, how many friends do you have? None. Ninguno. None is ninguno. I thought I have some money, but I have none. So the difference here is that we are not going to use a noun. If we want to use a noun, we're going to say, I have no money. But instead we can say, I have none. I don't mention the word money. I don't say the noun. So that is the difference between none and no. In this one, we do not say the noun. Any questions with this part? In Spanish, please. <laughs> okay. Um, vamos a ver la primera. ¿Cuántos amigos tienes? Ninguno. None es ninguno. La diferencia es que none... Cuando yo uso non, no digo el nombre. Si quiero decir el nombre, cualquier nombre, silla, mesa, any noun. Entonces vamos a usar el de arriba, no. No tengo mesa, I have no table. Pero si alguien me dice, y tenés mesa, y quiero decir, no tengo, ninguna. Do you have table? No. no. That is More it. easy. It's easier, <laughs> good. <laughs> Very nice. Let's check the other one. Noun of, in this case, we can say, we can say the noun, but we're going to say of. So for example, none of the students are from France. None of them are from France. Okay, so in this case, yes, we can say the noun, but we're going to, the structure is like this. We say none, then of, we always use of, and then the noun. So on the first one, we don't mention the noun. And the second one, we can mention the noun, but the structure is none, of, and then the noun. <laughs> Is uh, clear? Uh, do you have questions? ¿Se entiende la diferencia entre uno y el otro? No, it's the same. It's not the <laughs> same. Uh, uh, arriba, 
arriba, cuando decimos solo none, por ejemplo, vamos a volver al, al primer ejemplo. How many no. friends do you have? None, ninguno. En el de abajo, yo puedo mencionar el nombre. Esa es la diferencia. Que sí puedo usar none con un nombre, pero, 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 tenemos que usar la estructura que está ahí. None of the students. Ninguno de los estudiantes. Aquí no vamos a usar el de arriba de nobody. Nobody of the students is not correct. Si yo quiero decir algo como ninguno de los alumnos falta de hacer la plataforma, por ejemplo. No ocupo nobody. No es correcto. O no one. Ocupo none. None of the students is missing to finish the platform. Is clear that now? Teacher, the three uh, words, any, no, and none, it's the same for uh, negative, negative? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you are going to express that like a negative idea. None, nobody, uh, anything. Just remember that any, yes, you can use it uh, in an affirmative, but when uh, it's not important when you are going to do a situation or what you want to do, anything like that. But uh, yes, the most of these are going to be for, um, let's say, negative ideas, not negative sentences, but negative ideas. There are equivalents for affirmative. For example, for nothing, you can say something. Okay? You can say, for example, I have something to do tomorrow. Algo, pero no es definido. So that's the difference. Estos todos que estamos viendo son indefinite, no es definido. Alguno, cualquiera, el que sea. Okay. Igual en afirmativo, cuando decimos something, no es definido. Algo. I have something to do. Somebody is going to help me. Alguien me va a ayudar. ¿Quién? We don't know. It's not definite. Somewhere as well. I have to go somewhere. Tengo que ir a alguna parte. Como cuando no queremos decir para dónde vamos. Where are you going? <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay. So that is it. So there are equivalents. But these ones are more for negative ideas. Negative meaning of. But not negative sense. Okay. Okay. Good. Any questions? No questions. O muchas no preguntas. Questions. Si hay preguntas, dígame. Porque hoy es la última clase. Ya no hay tomorrow. Okay. So if you have questions about this topic or any topic, <laughs> you can ask me today. Okay, reading. I read, I read. Uh, this is just a reading. I guess we don't have any questions from this one. Let me just check. Mm -hmm. Let me see if it's possible to see it in 100%. Are you able to read there? Or do you want me to do it bigger? Se alcanza a ver o de plano no. That's okay. It's okay? Sí, okay. Okay, my friends, then we're going to read. Everybody, please repeat. Here we go. This year, our school, Edinburgh Castle School, this year our school Edinburgh this Castle year School, our school, Edinburgh Castle school, school is taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. Is taking, taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. in the program Let's Save Nature. This program tries to help both animals and plants in our countryside, beaches, and mountains. Animals and plants are disappearing because we humans are not taking care of them. Animals, animals, and, plants animals and plants are disappearing because are we humans are not, are not taking care of them. Care for them. We are throwing our rubbish in the sea. 
We are throwing, we are throwing, our throwing our rubbish in the sea. On the streets and in the country. On the streets, on the streets and in the country. The animals are getting trapped in the plastic bags or getting ill because they eat plastic wrappers. The animals, the animals are, are getting trapped in the plastic, 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 plastic bags or eating in the company. Plastic, plastic wipers. Plants are dying because we are throwing chemicals and rubbish in the forests. Plants are dying because we are throwing chemicals and rubbish in the forests. Forest fires are also killing thousands of animals and plants. Forest, Forest fires are also killing thousands of animals animal and plants. plants. Our school is now helping. Our school, Our school is, is now helping. helping. We are collecting rubbish from the beaches in our city and telling people not to throw anything on them. We, we, are collecting we are collecting rubbish from the beaches in the our city and telling people not, not throw any on them. We are also collecting used batteries and other dangerous materials. We are also collecting we are used, also collecting used, used batteries, batteries and, and other dangerous materials. And you? And you. you? What are you doing to help animals and plants? What are you doing to, to help animals and plants? Are you littering the beaches and the country or are you putting the rubbish in the correct places? Are you littering in the beaches in the country or are you putting your rubbish in the correct place? Please help animals, don't litter. Please help animals. animals. Animal. Very good. So now we're going to check vocabulary. Uh, let's see, castle. What is a castle? It says Edinburgh Castle Castillo. School. Castillo. Good. Uh, let's see, let's save in. What is save? Salvar. Good, save Salvar. nature. Good night. This program tries. Do you remember what is try? Intentos. Tratar. Tratar. Good. Intentos, tratar. What is both? Ambas. Good. Ambas. And countryside. What is countryside? Mm -hmm. Campo. El campo. Very good. So countryside is the opposite of the city. Uh, uh, con la palabra playa siempre tengamos cuidado. Beaches. Uh, and mountains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Disappearing. What is disappearing? Desapareciendo. Very good. And let's say taking care. What is taking care? Cuidar. Cuidar. Nice. Throwing. What is throwing? Tirar. Tirar. Tirando. Nice. Rubbish. What is rubbish? Basura. En este caso se refiere como a cosas como de plástico. Okay. Mm. In the sea. What is sea? Mar. Good. Let's see. The animals are getting trapped. What is trapped? Wow. Atrapado. Good. In plastic bags. What is bags? Bolsas. Bolsas. Good. Bolsas. Getting ill. What is ill? I don't know. It is the same as sick. Enfermo. Enfermo. Very good. Uh, plastic wrappers. What is wrappers? Envoltorios. Envoltorios. Very good. Plants are dying. What is dying? Muriendo. Good. Because we are throwing chemicals. What are chemicals? Chemicals. Good. And rubbish in the forest. What is a forest? Bosque. Bosque. Very good. Uh, forest fires, what are those? Incendio forestal. Very good, perfect. Uh, cleaning thousands of animals and plants, of course, and helping with collecting rubbish from the beaches in the city, telling people 
not to throw anything on that. Where I was collecting, let me see if there is any other word. Littering, what is littering? Okay. Littering is, uh, como tirar basura en la calle. Es un concepto en inglés que se refiere a eso exactamente. Littering is ensuciar. So, littering in the beaches and the country, are you putting your rubbish in the purple, please? I guess that is it. Any questions before we move on? No. Good. So, we are going I don't to tweet. listen. Uh, I don't listen to the um, word rubbish. Rubbish. Uh, it's like, como cosas de plástico. Okay. Okay. The goma, something like that. Any other question before we continue? No. Okay, we're going to read. Okay. Um, first one is going to be Umberto. This year, our school, Edinburgh Castle School, is taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. This program tries to help both animals and plants in our countryside, beaches and mountain, mountains. Continue, please. Okay. Animal, animals, animals and plants are disappearing, 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 disappearing because we humans are not taking care of them, we are throwing our rubbish in the sea, um, on the street and in the country. The animals are getting trapped in the plastic bags or getting ill because they eat plastic wrappers. Plants are dying because we are throwing chemical and rubbish in the forest. Forest fires are are also killing thousands of animals and plants. Perfect, thank you. Our school. Yeah, we're going to split that. Thank you very much. So the next one is going to be Jorge Antonio. Okay, I miss it. I... Our school. Oh, the third where, where... Oh, Our school is now helping we are collecting rubbish from the beaches in our city and tell, telling people not to throw anything on them. We are, all, we are also collecting used batteries and other dangerous material. And you, what are you doing to help animals and plants? Are you littering, littering the beaches and the country are, or are you putting your rubbish in the correct places? Please help animals, don't litter. Thank you. Next one is Karen Melendez. This year, our school, Edinburgh Castle School, is taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. This program tries to help both animals and plants in our countryside, beaches, and mountains. Animals and plants are disappearing because we humans are not taking care of them. We are throwing a rubbish in the sea, on the street, and in the country. The animals are getting trapped in the plastic bags or getting ill. ¿Cómo se dice? Ill, yeah. Ill because they eat plastic wrappers. Plants are dying because we are throwing chemicals and rubbish in the forest. Forest fires are also killing thousands of animals and plants. Perfect, thank or, you. Okay. Next one is going to be Kathy Sines. Word teacher. The third paragraph, our school. Uh, our school is now helping. We are collecting rubbish from the beaches in our city and telling people not to throw anything of them. We are also collecting used batteries 
in another dangerous materials. And you, what are you doing to help animals and plants? Are you littering the beaches, beaches? Mm -hmm. and the country, or are you putting your rubbish in the correct place? Please, help animals, don't litter. Perfect, thank you. Next one is Susie. Um, the first and second place. The first. This year. Ah, perdón. This year, this year, or school, Edinburgh, uh, country school is taking part in the program. Let's say natural. This program trees to help both animal and plant in world countryside, beach and mountain. Anim animal and plant are disappear because we humanity are not taking care of them. We are throwing war rubies in the set on the strip and in the country. The animal are created try in the plastic bath or grating here because they eat plastic wrapper. Plants are dim because we are throwing chemical como se dice? chemicals chemical um rubies in the forest forest far trees are all healing so some of animal and plant okay that is okay perfect thank you um next one is going to be emily our school is now helping we are collecting rubbish from the beaches in our city and telling people not to throw anything on them we are also collecting uses batteries and other dangerous ma materials. And you, what are you doing to help be, to help animals and plants? Are you litter, littering the beaches and the country or are you putting your rubbish in the correct places? Please help animals, don't litter. Perfect, thank you. Next one is Carlos Cruz. He's here. Our school, Edinburgh has some school, is taking part in the program Let's Say Nature. This program tries to help both animals and plants in our countryside, beach, and mud. Animals and plants are disappearing because the humans are not taking care of them. They are throwing our rubies in the street. And the country, the animal are getting trapped in the plastic bag. I'll get it in because they eat plastic bags. Plants are feeding because we are throwing chemicals and rubbish in the forest. For the fire, I obviously keep killing thousands of animal and plants. Perfect. Thank you. Next one is going to be a Vilma. Our school is now helping. We are collecting rubies from the beaches in our city and telling people not to throw anything at them. We are also collecting used batteries and other dangerous material. You, what are you doing to help animals and plants? Are you... Uh, Littering. Littering the beaches and the country, or are you putting your rubies in the correct place? Place help animals down litter. Perfect, thank you. Next one is Herling Lane. Is dear or school Edinburgh 
coastal school is taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. This program, this program <laughs> tries to help both animals and plants in your countryside, beaches, and mountains. Animals and plants are disappearing because we humans are not taking care of them. We are throwing our rubbish in the sea, on the street, and in the country. The animals are getting trapped in the plastic bags or getting ill because they eat plastic wrappers. Plants are dying because we are throwing chemical and rubbish in the forest, forest far are also killing dozens of animals and plants. Perfect, thank you. Next one is Aileen Racinos. Our school is now helping. We're collecting rubbish from the beaches in our city and telling people not to throw anything on them. We are also collecting used batteries and other dangerous materials. And you, what are you doing to help animals and plants? Are you littering the beaches in the country or are you putting your garbage in the correct places? Please help animals, don't litter. Perfect, thank you. Next one is Herman. Hola, hola. Our hello. school. Yeah. Our school is now helping. We are collecting rubbish from the beach in our city and um, um, helping people not throw anything out there. We are still collecting useless batteries and other dangerous materials. And you, what are you doing to help animals and plants? Are you learning the beach and the country or, or are you putting your ruins in the correct place. Please help and must don't don't give it. Okay, thank you. Next one is Kayla. This year our school, Edinburgh Nature School, is taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. This program tries to help but animals and plants in our countryside, beaches, and mountains. Animals and plants are disappearing because we humans are not taking care of them. We are throwing our rubies in the sea, on the street, and in the country. The animals are, are getting trapped in the plastic bag or getting ill because they eat plastic wrappers. Plants are digging because we are throwing chemicals and rubies in the forest. Forest fires are also killing thousands of animals and plants. Perfect, thank you. I guess everybody has read, right? Nobody's missing. Todos leímos ya, ¿verdad? Okay. Just uh, to finish, let's review the differences between simple present and the present continuous. Remember that in the simple present, we are going to use the subject and the verb. Uh, and uh, in the present continuous, subject, verb to be, and uh, the verb in ing. For example, she goes, she is going, that is it. And uh, that we are going to express general truths for the simple present tense. Also, uh, we are going to indicate habits and express timetable uh, events. That means that something that is scheduled. For example, the plane to London takes off at 6.30. So we know that that is the time. Uh, indicate permanent states, like I like the new James Bond film. For the other, uh, we're going to describe actions happening in the moment. We're going to express annoying habits. This is important. So you can use, for annoying habits, you can use always. 
That is the only adverb of frequency that you can use with the present continuous. For example, you're always forgetting to pay the bills. You're always taking my clouds, something like that. So that means it's not good. Also, you can describe future arrangements like she's getting married on the 3rd of November, for example. And also you can express temporary states like she's working at the museum until the end of this month. So that is temporary, meaning that is going to expire. Do you have any question between these two tenses? No questions. No. Okay. Okay, so the question of course is in Spanish, let's see. Todos terminamos ya la plataforma? ¿Alguien falta? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Les falta, le faltará bastante. O alguien, alguien falta, quizás era así, decía terminamos, ¿verdad? Pero la pregunta ahora es, ¿alguien falta de terminar la plataforma? Mami, mamá. Todos terminamos. Sí, teacher. Okay. Yes, Very good. So, my friends, yes, if teacher. you finish, everything is fine. And, uh, well, this is like the last class that we have um, for this module. Um, most likely, I don't have any news, but most likely, I guess next week we are not going to have classes. I guess. Vacation. Yeah, vacation. So let's go to the beach, but don't litter, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before we finish, is there any question, anything uh, that I can help you with? Nos enviará la última slide mañana. Claro que sí, mañana se les envío con mucho gusto. Continuaremos con usted o otro Eso no lo sabemos. Eh, um, depende, depende de cómo estén con los teachers y con los grupos. Entonces, si estamos juntos, pues va a ser un gusto, un placer. Y si sí. no, pues igual me pueden escribir, ¿verdad? Y preguntarme cualquier cosa. Eh, no se sabe cuándo reabrirían, si sería después de vacaciones o qué. O sí, lo, el... lo más común, casi siempre sucede que hay una semana. Se trata a veces de iniciar inmediatamente el siguiente lunes, pero como es un proceso, ¿verdad? En el Ajá. que se revisan todos los grupos, todas las personas que han terminado, que tengan la documentación, y luego Insafor también tiene que revisar, entonces es un proceso a veces un poco largo. Eh, y más que esta semana es como que vacación, yo no he escuchado que vayamos a iniciar lunes, hay que estar pendiente por cualquier cosa. Lo más probable es que sea el siguiente lunes, ¿verdad? Para no perder tanto, casi siempre es como una semana la que la que se espera ahí para terminar el proceso, aunque si Insafor se va de vacaciones, ahí pues ya saber, ¿verdad? No, no les sabría decir, pero la mayoría de veces es un lapso de una, de una semana. Solo en diciembre creo que fue un poco más de tiempo, pues porque se fueron de vacaciones, pero acá sí no les sabría decir y esperemos que sea lo antes posible. Sí, de mi parte agradeciéndole por este curso, ha sido muy bueno, muy dinámico, nos ha quitado la pena mucho hablar, pronunciar, eh, muy claras sus explicaciones, de, de veras le agradezco y le felicito, pero pues que más adelante pues, volvamos a, a reencontrarnos en este curso. Of gracias. Course. Bueno, gracias ahí por el, el comentario, estamos a la orden y es un gusto pues saber que les haya ayudado, aunque sea un poco para avanzar en este viaje del inglés. Teacher, yo igual este, quiero agradecerle por la paciencia infinita que nos ha tenido a todos uh -huh. por explicarnos súper bien. Entonces, es un gusto igual. Esperamos tener más módulos con usted. Será un gusto. Pues para mí también ha sido un gusto. Eh, la verdad es que es, es normal. No es, no es paciencia, es parte de uno sabe que cuando uno está aprendiendo. Es, hay topics, si ustedes se recuerdan, hay temas que rápido y hay unos temas que como que y eso como es verdad, explíqueme la otra vez es normal, pero sí ha sido un gusto estar con ustedes eh, es, si nos vemos pues será un gusto y como les digo, si, hay, si nos vemos en la calle los voy a saludar pero en inglés tiene que hablar en inglés <risa> si no le entendemos no le vamos a poder contestar no lo ha sido, ¿no? bye. 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 ok my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you, I hope you have a wonderful night happy vacations 
and uh, see you around. Teacher. See you around. Un gusto. Gracias. See you. Bye. Gracias, teacher. And teacher Feliz for vacación. everything. Feliz vacaciones. Gracias igualmente. Bye. Y bendiciones para todos. Gracias igualmente. Gracias igual. Gracias igual a todos. Gracias.